Hey. Hey, what's up, man? All right. All right. All right, man. This is uh, Benji Womack doing an interview with Andrew Hosbar of Oceano uh, with PitKives.com. Uh, first what's off, up, first off, I want to let the viewers know a little history about us. Uh, Andrew, uh, back in the day, what, say about 2003, 2004, I was just getting started in the music industry, and Andrew played in one of the biggest local bands around at the time, and used to play shows for me to get my name out there. And no matter where we end up, different band, different state, different publications, we still have always found a way to meet up and do something together like this. So that being said, catch me up ever since the demise of The Devastated and what happened after that, and how did you end up with this band? And then we'll go from there. Yeah, um, well, um Basically, uh, the devastated was um, was was touring uh, in support of uh, the Devil's Messenger, the album that that we put out, and um, uh, yeah, um, the band uh, just um, unfortunately uh, couldn't go on any longer, and um, so I kind of basically from there, to be honest with you, just kind of. Um, you know, it's kind of seeing you know, what's out there, but at the same time, just, uh, just, you know, practicing and working on all of, uh, you know, my musical stuff. And, and then it got to a point where, um, I actually took a gig with, um, my longtime friend, Austin Diamond. He, uh, he was playing drums for Chimera at the time. And, uh, I went out to the tech for him and ended up kind of like stage managing for, Chimera for about a year and a half, and uh, one of the tours, Oceano um, was on. It was in uh, the beginning of uh, 2014, so last year, February. And I met those guys on the tour, and um, I just uh, started, you know, keeping in touch with those guys. And uh, their drummer um, went on to another band around end of last year. So we. Uh, you know, we talked over and, um, you know, expressed interest about working together. And, uh, I expressed interest that, you know, uh, I was, you know, into what the band was doing and everything. And, uh, yeah, just, you know, I already, I had already toured with the guys. And, um, so, you know, that's how I got to know them and yeah, went out there and, uh, everything was running smooth. And, uh, yeah, basically we we just kind of kicked off the year. They uh, there was a the new album came out on um, March 29th, and uh, we've just been pretty much touring nonstop um, in support of that. Uh, we just we just basically got back uh, a couple weeks ago from um, co-headlining in Europe. Nice. Well, too. How was that? Yeah, it was great. Uh, the band uh, hadn't been over there in three years, so um, it was really, really, really awesome for uh, you know us being a bit. We basically we were headlining. I mean, there's another band um, that was that was on the tour called Make Them Suffer. Mm-hmm. Um, but most of the nights we were uh, we were headlining. So and we played a couple festivals as well too with um, with Hate Breed and Emir and Border Osiris. So it was a good time over there. Was that your is that your was that your first time in uh playing overseas or did you get to do that with the Devastated too? That was that was actually my first my yeah. first time overseas. Um so yeah, it was yeah. for me it was for me it was fucking awesome. But uh, <laughs> as a whole experience I know uh I know everybody was was pleased with the tour and um yeah, you know, we can't wait to get back over there, honestly. It was fucking it was killer. So Hold on, man. Glad you made it over there for yeah. Yeah, right, so I, so awesome. so I know these guys are, are you know they're based out of Chicago, man. You're all the way down in Cali, so you're gonna how, how's this how's that working for you? And are you gonna relocate, or are you guys gonna just do the way you're doing it? Well, uh, um, uh, no, I mean I'm I'm gonna stay put out here, and and you know everybody's gonna stay put out there. It's been basically working fine with me traveling back and forth. Obviously, you know we keep in touch and. Um, yeah, you know, um, you know, we're, we're probably going to start diving into, you know, doing some writing for the next record, 
within, um, you know, the next few months towards the end of the year or something like that. And, um, you know, obviously with technology, it's, it's easy to bounce ideas back and forth and, uh, yeah, you know, so we, uh, we rehearse pretty well to, you know, like when I come out there and stuff. So, I mean, yeah, you know, everything's, everything's working fine as far as the distance goes right now. So, you know, it's good because, I'm gonna learn how to splice that together. <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry about that. Uh, went outside, but uh, anyways, yeah, the, you know the band's branded, so it just makes um, it just makes the process of everything a lot easier. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, I mean, everybody's out there but me, so it's, it's basically just one guy, you know, flying out and meeting up with guys and stuff like that. So it works out. It works out good. Oh yeah, man. All right. So there's plenty of, yeah, there's, there's, there's plenty of bands uh, that are doing that that type of you know thing nowadays. I mean, shit, Chimera was like like seven different states practically. <laughs> <laughs> but they they would all they would all come together and uh, you know worked out good. So. Yeah, that's for sure. All right. So yeah. do you think uh, do you think it's more stressful now than it was before when we when you were younger doing this? Um, well, you know, I, I obviously I have, you know, more responsibility, more bills, you know, I have my own place. Um, so, you know, there's, there's more, there's more of a, uh, financial awareness, um, you know, I guess for me personally nowadays, but, uh, you know, I mean, everybody that, 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 you know, is in the group is on the same page and stuff like that. And it's just, you know, I mean, I don't know. I just think, uh, you know, shit, I've been doing it long enough that, uh, it's, it's nice. It's nice to get some payback for, you know, that's right. putting in hard work. And, but, you know, you know, there's obviously, you know, living, living in California, like, you know, it's just, fuck the, you know, the cost of living is just, seems like it never gets any any cheaper <laughs> I know, you but know it's so no place like cali so it's like, <laughs> yeah you know but it's just yeah exactly you know it's like for me it's like you know my guys always you know ask and it's like for me i just fuck dude it's just hard it's just hard to like you know, fathom like moving out of the state <laughs> you know but uh but yeah, you know, I mean, there's little things here and there, but, um, you know, I mean, it's just, it's nice to know that, you know, I work with a really solid group of dudes that are trustworthy and responsible and, yeah, everybody's got their head in the right place. So it's just, uh, yeah, you know, it works out, it works out good on that end. That makes it 10 times better. You know what I mean? No. Uh-huh. All right. Yeah. Let's see here. Well, um, what, what do you hope to accomplish before it's all said and done? What what kind of uh, impression are you trying to leave this industry with? Um, fucking dude, hard work and uh, just fucking hard work and honest man. That uh, you know, it's fucking every drop of sweat, fucking I can just straight from the fucking soul. That's <laughs> right, dude. Uh, you know, just uh. Yeah, everything I put it into is just, you know, All right, how, as hard as I can, just get my own. We kind of answered this next question a little bit already, talking about the new band, but I was, uh, how does everyone get along? Uh, get, how does everyone get along, and are the guys tight, a tight-knit group? Do the guys act like family? I got to tell you, I'll walk, I, I, I'll tell you, though, your singer kind of scares me, man. <laughs> it's like, uh, <laughs> it's like, it's like, uh, I, I was talking about this to somebody else, man. I was like, damn, if there was a black man pointing a gun at me in in the hood or your vocalist screaming yeah. at me, man, I'd probably, I'd probably, uh, with those chords, I'd probably run towards the guy with the gun. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. He's got some vocals on him, man. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's, he's the nicest man, you know, like everybody, everybody's, everybody's cool. You know, everybody gets along, thankfully. And, you know, I mean, everybody has a kiss on tour, but, uh, you know, I think everybody respects everybody's face and, um, you know, just, we all, we all look out for each other and, uh, yeah, you know, we're just, we're just on that same page, you know, with everything. So, 
you know, that, that just helps. And then obviously, you know, everybody has a sense of humor and is able to, you know, able to, able to, to you know, just fucking, uh, joke around about things and, and not let, not let certain things really get to us, you know, when there's, when there's, when there's usually, usually a lot of things going on, it, it's good, to, it's good to, uh, it's good that, you know, everybody in the group is kind of like that, you know, that's fucking, you can laugh about some shit and uh, yeah. deal with it, you know. So, so what do you, so what do you guys, so, we yeah. guys got plans for, for tours now? Uh, the, are you guys taking um, a break right now, or we don't? We 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 currently don't have anything. There's there's been some uh, some stuff that's come our way, but uh, uh, or you know we might have some stuff in in November, but um, other than that, really right now uh, we're focusing on next year. Uh, just you know being being busy next year. There'll definitely be a lot of touring that we'll be doing next year, um, and uh, yeah, you know hopefully uh, an album sooner than later. So, I mean, that's just kind of, that's just kind of the goal right now. So we're looking, we're looking to, um, obviously take off exactly where we're at right now and just, you know, just keep putting out the same product that you would expect the band to put out. Nothing really, uh, off the hinges, just, you know, straight up what we were doing. So, so it's good, you know, we're, uh, <laughs> we're excited to, to, you know, get more shit out there and and get out there more. So, but yeah, at this point, at this point, um, I'd say probably realistically, um, more like lengthy tours is probably going to be, um, next year at this, at this point. So. Oh yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Yeah. This was yeah. the next couple of questions. This question is a couple of questions. I'm going to ask every band I interview because it has a lot to do with my website now. Um, uh, your thoughts on the legal legalization of marijuana. Uh, my thoughts. Well, uh, for, well, for um, against it. Um, I mean, it's hard. It's hard for me to completely say, to be honest with you, because I mean, like, I'm, I'm for it, but then again, like, I'm, I'm, I'm indecisive. So I'm kind of, I'd say I'm like, I'd say I'm like sixty percent for it and like forty percent. Undecided about it because for me, I don't. I, I haven't really been able to really uh, experience what the like the like living in like say Colorado or Oregon and like feeling what the actual laws are there. Right. So for me, I mean, I've been through there, and obviously gone to dispensaries out there. I mean, I'm sorry, not Oregon, Washington. Right. Um. But, uh, so, yeah, it's just, you know, I don't know, I don't know how, I mean, I'm sure, obviously it's like the taxing and taking money out for all that shit out there, but, um, I don't know, you know, there's something about me, like me personally, I don't, I don't have, I don't have a card and, you know, I have no problem getting weed anytime. And I don't, I, I'm never, I'm never stressing about it. So I don't know. Like for me, I never feel like, Oh, you know, I got to have a card. I got to have a card. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think Kelly's the only uh, one still doing the card. I think the other ones you don't even need a card. Right. Yeah. No, the other ones, yeah. You just, uh, you, I mean, you just gotta be 18 to, you know, walk in one of the stores and that's it. Just boom. You're, yeah, my baby's mother. Yeah. My baby's mama lives in Seattle now. She said you can just uh, call up and order weed on the, by phone and have it delivered to your house now legally. You can get it delivered legally to your house. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> right. Pizza. Yep. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't uh, doesn't surprise me. Fuck, dude. Like that's just that's just that's just, just everywhere. Like last year, I was actually um, last summer I was at uh, Hempfest, Seattle with the uh, Chimera, and uh, dude, it was fucking. It was fucking mayhem, dude. It was fucking just like nonstop fucking vendors, and all these people were like, "Oh, you know, we're setting up shop out here in Seattle." I'm like, "Fuck, oh, dude!" Like, <laughs> yeah, it's just fucking everywhere out there. So, but you know, I, I I'd have to say to to sum it up, you know, like I I'm definitely for I'm definitely for 
legalizing the marijuana, I just would hate for it to become something that like it started like ruining certain like I don't know. I don't know. Certain <laughs> recreation of it. I, I just right. would, I just would hate for it to be like you know I don't know. Just fucking like punishing punishing people too much for it, I think is just it's just outrageous. So if the le- if the legalizing of, of that everywhere is gonna like amp up like the punishment for it, then I'm not for that. All right. Uh, but, yeah. but anyhow. All right. So that was my that that was that was my that was my stoner take on it. <laughs> being as a being as a you know yeah, it's done right now. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. So. All right. So, so during the show, man, you notice groupies walking around with stickers all over their asses, and 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 mm. being used for nipple tape. How how would that make you feel? And would you support this? <laughs> you already know uh, where I'm going with this. <laughs> yeah, of course I'm gonna support it. So, uh, you know, the ass cause has been reborn. I actually got it. Uh, this uh, um, my shirts are being made finally. Does Ascot support your favorite band? Let them stick it to you. Stick them to that ass. Yeah. <laughs> stick it to that yeah. ass. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yep. All right, yeah, man. I'm, 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 I'm 100% behind that. Yeah, I was I've probably got a few pictures, man. I think I'm like Peter somewhere with you in, in a couple of those. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. I'm sure. That's, Fucking. Up to Sacramento. Sac- 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 yeah, Sacramento. <laughs> yeah, it was scribbling them. Oh. Yep. All right, man. Yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. Last question, man. Tell me some crazy shit you've seen on tour since I talked to you last. Who have you got to play tour with, and what? Uh, let's see, and who have you always wanted to play with that you did get to play with, and did you get to meet a lot of people over the last few years? Kind of answered some of that already, but you can elaborate on it. Yeah, um, I mean, yeah, obviously, um, you know the 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 crowds that, um, you know, I've been playing for over the past few years, uh, you know, been fucking awesome. Um, uh, you know, like Oceano, obviously, you know, has built a, a really fucking killer fan base. And, um, yeah, you know, we've been, we've been touring with some fucking really rad bands this year. Uh, fucking Boris the Blade, um, Last 10 Seconds of Life. Laura Shore and uh, Martyr Defiled. That was like our headliner. We also did a short run with a band called Cane Hill and um, and a band called I'm like fucking blanking on it right now. Um, I can't remember. He just named a couple. He named a couple bands I haven't even heard of yet. Yeah, um, it's crazy. You take a little break uh, off the scene, uh, man, and explode. Come, come to dawn. That's come to dawn. <laughs> but uh, yeah, dude. Like um, we did a uh, shit. We did. We did a. Uh, um, we supported uh, Vale of Maya's headliner in Bags, and Revocation, and uh, a band called Encios, and a band called Gift Giver. And then um, over the summer, we did the All Stars tour, which was with uh, mm-hmm. Fauna Burning Body. Fauna Burning Body and uh, Dance Gavin Dance. And um, shitload of other bands. So, what was your favorite country you played in over there? Um, over in Europe? Yeah. Uh, fuck, dude. For me, it was. Did you do anything while you was over there? It was kind of a three way tie. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We went we went out I mean, I went out fucking every night with pretty much everybody else, like they would go out, like we'd go out, you know, every every night and uh just fucking try to go into town or try to, you know, hit a bar or something around around the town. Probably one of the one of the standout uh areas that was just like off the fucking chain was uh Hamburg, Germany. Just fucking nonstop over there. Like nice. it's pretty badass. Um, but yeah, I mean, probably the best show I'd have to say was either shit. He was either for me. I think it was either Italy or Prague, Czech Republic. Prague, yeah. 
Yes, check. Yeah. Oh my God, the women there. Mm. Yeah, the, the, those those two shows were probably the craziest. Although Germany was fucking pretty awesome too. I mean, all the Prague, really the good. Prague, that was that country so, that like, Randy got in trouble in, wasn't it? Right. Yep. From that regard, yep. Yeah, it's it's a it's a fucking awesome city. I mean, especially like the downtown. It's just it's just cool. There's just I don't know. There's something about it. It's fucking it's fucking badass. Yeah. Highly recommend highly recommended if like you're ever going to Europe, like definitely try to make your way over to, to Prague. At least for like a night or, or two. All right. Right, yeah. man. Well, um, I will have yeah. this posted tonight, man, sometime, and I'll send you all the links, and I appreciate it, man. Yeah, absolutely, brother. Fucking, uh, it's always good fucking doing things together, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. All right, man, I will talk and, to uh, you. I'll call you back in a little bit. All right, man. Thanks. All right, man.